You look anemic. All right. I have so many red blood cells you don't even know. We're doing research for this video on fucking vaccine side effect fakers and it's really funny i love them but i'm very interested in like the people and the backstories and the lore so we're we're doing that trigger warning uh, uh chill weed vibe <laughs> listen stop talking about her feet stop talking about her feet stop talking about her feet this is a fucking disaster i'll give you 100 subs if you play that video no you won't because of course I'm gonna play the video. That's what the that's what we're doing right now. This is knowyourmeme.com, right? But here's the thing. They did a pretty decent job of like putting the origins of where these videos came from. So it's I'm using it as a reference page. I know it's not on like MLA format. Can't use Wikipedia as a reference. Well, uh, maybe I'll use Know Your Meme instead. So this is about the thanks Pfizer trend, which is, you know, tangentially related to what I'm talking about. We, we want to get to the bottom of like, who are these people that are faking these vaccine side effects that just straight up aren't real? There's just no fucking way. And like, it's so interesting how we just can, we collectively fucking, collectively fucking bully them. Anyway, the whole reason that they are doing this is so they can grift, right? GoFundMes, t-shirts, local hero, like, these are people that are, like, insane and want to make money. It's, like, it's so gross. So one of the first that started propping back up, this this was the case. Like, right as the vaccines were coming out, you know, first dose, second dose, the first booster, these videos kept coming out, and it, it was funny every time. But because it's been so long, these, like, weird like middle-aged white women are all like they all have these videos from the last fucking two years that probably no one's seen and all of a sudden they're getting picked up now right because they're reposting them everywhere it's 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 part of the grift is to just fucking advertise constantly and then there are other grifters that will retweet you and you get like a mutual grift it's like a whole parasitic cycle anyway we're gonna watch all these videos of feet These these videos are insane. So this is Angela Dissell. We're there's a lot to to discuss here, but we'll, let's just watch the video. Posted just completely out of nowhere and blew up. Right wing right wing grifting is like an MLM. If MLMs uh literally weren't bad, like they were good ideas. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is where we're at. Let me raise my legs. Yeah. Share the down. Ladies, be sure to check out this uh, amazing rose vibrator under my viral tweet. Oh, this is the worst thing to watch while I'm this high. It's just gonna be so funny. So check this out. This is Angela DeSell. When does this nightmare end? Two years after one dose of Pfizer. Heart issues and kidneys are not functioning properly. Please stop and think before you take another booster. They don't protect you. They only harm you. Bro, what are you doing? You got a fucking catheter. Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna find something TOS. It's literally driving me nuts. Up and down my body every day. It doesn't hurt at all. And yes, I am on magnesium. Imagining your muscles firing like this 24-7, starting in the face and working down. Thanks, Pfizer, for all the lovely symptoms. Oh, and it's my leg, not my butt. Oh, yeah, there it is. Dude, like, that's just like a normal fucking muscle twitch. She's probably, like, literally on the verge of a manic episode. Like, constantly stressed out because she thinks she's fucking dying. And now she has, like, fucking muscle spasms because she's stressed. Of course she turned off her place. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. You see it? Right back here? Watch. And it just falls. You see it? That's crazy, isn't it? Where's the shaking? Where is she? Why are you shaking? That looks like your butt. It does. It's yeah. not my butt, yeah, guys. <laughs> it's my leg. It does look like my butt, though, huh? <laughs> I 
I don't understand it. Bro, in 40 seconds, it only happened twice. That's like a very normal thing. It's time for everyone to start speaking about, about what happened to your family member. Our voice does matter. I've seen this tweet. Yeah. God, she's going on Zoom calls and shit. What the fuck is this? Oh, she does fucking, twi fucking Twitter spaces. C19 Vax Injured. Silenced Survivor. Vax Injured. And happens to be a Twitter Blue subscriber. <laughs> Ah, uh, are they wait? Are they still doing? Oh, let me set a host. Let me set a fucking reminder for that. I will absolutely look at that. Getting any Pfizer risks your uh raises your risk of strokes. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. Here's a research paper from spring of 2022 on directed evolution. You might notice that Ralph Barak is one of the authors listed at the bottom. It's also important to note that Pfizer, see for the Project Veritas video, is listed in the acknowledgement. Anyone know of a financial support for those who lost jobs because they refused to take the shot? This is a crime. Deaths yet, doctor? The ones that skyrocketed after the experimental jab was ruled out? What the fuck? Dr. McConk? Any idea what's causing all these excess deaths yet, Doctor? The ones that skyrocketed after the experimental jab was ruled out? Unfortunately for you, monkey boy, a combination of crippling shame, detachment from reality, and big pharma moolah is keeping us baffled. We're no further forward, I'm afraid. Crazy, isn't it? How making the most obvious connection in history not only seems beyond our government's media, medical profession and brainwashed masses at the moment, but that they actually have the gall to try and censor and ridicule those of us who make that blindingly obvious connection? Yes. Even though we have no idea what's causing all this excess death, we are absolutely, positively, 100% sure that it's nothing to do with the rollout of the jab. Even though, admittedly, the two things do coincide quite perfectly. So if they don't, though. If you know the right- My brain is melting like, dude, this is three minutes! <laughs> it doesn't coincide with the rollout of the vaccine. Because this, like, excess death things happened at the end of 2022. I've been doing research on this. This XX, XX, Tentacion, this excess death concept that conservatives are arguing for now are liter is literally just, like, there were more deaths in the last uh, couple of months of 2022 than there were in the last few months of the last five years, right? But that's not when people started getting the vaccine. People started getting the vaccine... Like a year and a half ago now. What do you think it takes a year and a half to kill you? That's insane. He tagged JP. He tagged everyone, dude. He fucking tagged Cat Turd too. Reason excess deaths coincides quite perfectly with the rollout of the experimental jab. It doesn't, Why can't you though. even entertain the possibility of a link? Because a combination of crippling shame, detachment from reality. Wow, that was the first stick bug all night and I'm surprised it took this long. You tagged everyone, yeah. And big f It's all it is. He's just desperate to get a fucking retweet and sell some t-shirts. Mama Moolah prevents me from entertaining a link. I suppose to do so would lead to your entire world crumbling. Oh, absolutely. You and everyone who knows you would realize that you were complicit in an untold amount of injury and death in adults and children. And that I did it all for money. Everything you trusted in and believed in would be compromised forever. Ru like, that's the thing, right? There are actual cases that this could be applied. You can point out the fact that the medical system ignores disabled, fat, trans, queer, POC. Like, that they have done fucking horrific experiments on people who did not deserve it. On marginalized people. Sterilizing fucking mentally handicapped people. But this is the big evil plan? To give people vaccines that kill them? And cover it up for no reason. Wound beyond repair. Like, you know Joe Biden got the vaccine, right? What helps me to make sense of all these sudden, unexpected deaths is to find something, anything, in the person's medical history. Even the most tenuous links will do. There is a lot of that happening. Take someone local. What about Gary Sinnott, 36 years old, fatal heart attack shortly after his booster? After much digging, we found out that Gary used a blue inhaler at primary school. A definite red flag. So his heart attack at 36 makes sense now? To me, yes. To me and those like me. What about Leah Manning? 28 years old, dropped dead after her booster. Leah had a tongue tie as a little baby. She had to have it snipped at a few days old. The trauma of that could well have led to her heart attack. 28 years later? What about Tom Shields? 
died of a heart attack after one dose of Pfizer. So is it one dose or is it the fucking third booster? Like how much does it take to kill you? This is crazy. Dr. McConk. Oh my God. He has a child. Lemon RNA. Oh my God. God, dude, look at the print quality on this. It looks like fucking shit. New Zealand woman dies after receiving Pfizer vaccine. Yeah, right after. So he's following. Charlotte the Baroness of Burnley. <laughs> Beverly Turner. Some anti-vax doctor, probably. I'm trying to get to know this man a little bit. Diamond and silk. All right. <laughs> British Nazi. First Amendment, Second Amendment, independent voting. So he follows a British Nazi and then a fucking... American evangelical pro-Israel guy. Cool. To these people, even if you give them the facts and logic, they just say it wasn't a real COVID vaccine. Joe Biden took he took some special babies, bloodshot or some shit. Yeah, they'll just make shit up. They will just dance around in circles. If you said like Joe Biden got the vaccine, they'll be like, you really think that was the vaccine? Okay. Like they have to like completely retract from the conversation because they don't have anything to say to that. They're too like this guy is too in too deep. For something that simple. Truth be told, I don't know how to fucking... I don't even know how to get through to someone like this. Taxi Dave? He follows Taxi Dave. An Irish conservative Twitter user. Dude, imagine being a conservative in fucking Ireland. That's crazy. Anyway. Check All this right, out. Guys. So this is where we're at. Let me raise my legs. Let me raise my legs. No, no way. Do you see that? Bro, the thigh meat is clapping together. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this is the one that really popped off and just got people fucking clowning on her. I mean, almost 40k quote tweets. Fucking, what's the replies? 13.6k. Rough times for Angela to sell. Angelia. Fuck a horrible name. Who does she follow? Bush Doctors, Children's Health Defense. <laughs> Joseph Lee, MD, www.lungvirus.com. The anti vaxxer declaration. <gasps> He's in a space right now. Okay, Hello, good. Okay, absolutely. Great. Okay, I just want to make sure. Dr. Joseph, I promise you. I'm going I to don't care it. what you promise, Doctor Stella. I said I'm going to look at it without knowing it. I have a hypothesis. You don't have that a hypothesis. I'm saying that right. No, I'm she, not she's listen. gonna look at it. He, she, listen, she's doc, gonna look at let me tell you something. Yes. Let me let me tell you something. Don't you know? We're all in this battle together, and the, one the of part. the reasons why we didn't, we're not, we lost a, a whole generation of people that have got jab right now is because we didn't listen to each other. I'm what you've told me, it's I Dr. Get Stella. To today, it's Dr. Stella get Emanuel. Patients. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to start advising my patients, drink a lot of water, but avoid eating for the first two days. I'm Thank going to do that. And let's Thank see how it works. And I'll give you back results. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm open to <laughs> how do I... Thank you, everything Dr. that I can do to help our people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sticking my head in the sand. Well, like, Dr. no, 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 no. Really DM me. Let's look at it. This is crazy. He's talking over her. Testify that I listened to Dr. Lee this week. I fasted, and that's the only reason why I got better. And I don't even know what I was exposed to. But they, they nearly tried to kill me at this medical conference, so I came home early. So I did many, fast, but I did so drink. Many I, I, and I used space, Manuka dude. honey. Absolutely. I just drank it's plain water and, and Manuka honey. Thank you so much. I, rude, Dr. I apologize, Dr. Stella, and I don't mean to be, but it, to me, it's such an important point. It's my no main problem. No fucking shot that's water. real. Can I say something no uh, to both Dr. Stella and Dr. Joseph? Uh, I'll look into it. No. Joseph, Dr. Lee, thanks a lot. As well and as Dr. Stella. Uh, 18 other my grandfather is 92. Over a thousand He's not people. not taking anything for the last 58 years. Only water and tea. He never had any COVID. How do I require? Uh, that was the microphone. No, I'm just joking. Just Let just joking. me talk. But, you know, my 99-year-old grandmother was in a COVID unit in Georgia uh, about a year and a half ago with the flu. And I demanded that they don't give her any glucose in her IV fluids, nothing. She walked out on her own two feet. In five days, mm -hmm. so many people I know that this helped, and I, I, I see Let I me cut. chemical pathways. And I'll explain it again because Dr. Sullivan, I know you're very curious, and I know you're open-minded, which I very much appreciate. And I know you've done a lot of good for a lot of patients, and I'm not saying I know anything I more know than you at the later phase. 
at the early phase, which you didn't necessarily see them, that's what I focused on. So at the later phase, I absolutely agree more than me. But at the early phase, this is no, what no, my absolutely. Dr. Lee, how many uh, ounces Lee. of water? Another, so the another important point. Anti-vaxxer. I think I'll leave. I don't think that's very fruitful. The anti-vaxxer declaration. I am an anti-vaxxer. I despise all vaccines with bad science behind it. Most of them, maybe all of them. <laughs> the world's angriest doctor. The shots are a lie. That's crazy. I approve Dr. Fauci covered up the biggest medical mistake in history. The COVID antibody has no path to the lung. When I discovered this, I let Fauci know. I did run it by my mentor, uh, Dr. Afta at James Hopkins. I couldn't believe the size of this mistake I rolled it over. It's an mRNA vaccine. It doesn't need a path to the lung, does it? I think he's just misunderstanding what anything any of that is. <laughs> this is who Angeli Angelia follows. Patriot Rod. Christian, I support my law enforcement family. If bat, I love outdoor life. Fishing and shooting in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Hashtag NRA. Sometimes there's justice. Sometimes there's just us. That's good. This is the result of liberal policies, defunding, and politicians thinking they know better than police department training procedures. According to a source within the Memphis PD, the five charge officers weren't hired through the usual structured PD hiring process. City leaders felt the existing process was too strict. Oh, these are the woke cops. These are the diversity quota cops. That's what he's saying. That's awesome. Which departments were defunded? How much? He'll never answer me. Dr. Chris Spearman. Steven Steele. Oh my God, dude. All these conservative influencers that are just nobodies. Project Veritas, there we go. 1.3 million followers, Jesus Christ. Mike Lindell, classic. Susie Q, vaccine injured. Ooh, new vaccine injury just dropped. I wanna see her vaccine injuries. You mad? Yeah, you're mad. What does her vaccine injury look like? Did she not film her legs? Guess not. Let's see who else she follows. Gary. I'm also vax injured from Pfizer one. Ron DeSantis. Even though she lives in fucking Charlottesville or whatever. There's so much more to cover, dude. There's so much more. This is Angelia as well. How does she look like a different fucking person in every video? Just one, we'll calm down. Just spit the other. Don't no... ever do that if someone's having convulsions. You're gonna break their fucking bones. I did see the JK Rowling tweet. It doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, even she knows that from her fucking being like a nurse janitor or whatever. She's praying. It's beautiful. Yeah, she's jacking off. And then she had a she had a court appearance, not a court appearance, uh, House of Representatives in Louisiana. Healthcare worker I managed a surgery center. On January the fifth, I took my first COVID injection. Three days later, I woke up and I was paralyzed from my legs down. Not anymore. Now she's jiggling her legs every day. I spent five days in the hospital with not a lot of medical help out there for me. I started having convulsions and seizures, and it has been a complete nightmare. See, she didn't say convulsions on the High Wire show with Del Big Tree, but she's saying seizures now. Ever since. I carry a bag of seizure medicine with me now everywhere I go. As you can see, I've that makes it worse dude she's off the fucking lithium not the lithium she's on some fucking heavy fucking mood stabilizers now high dose fucking fucking depressants she's on ketamine and shit pretty shaky because i've passed that point of taking my medicine today um the nih has actually oh she's having k withdrawals dude <laughs> Billy finally reached out to me and I'm gonna get some help. She's like addicted to pills now. <laughs> She's addicted to benzos. But this is why I'm sitting here today. My family and friends are not gonna take this vaccine. She's in They're the K-hole. My neighbor is sitting right here with me has been my caretaker. Dude, 
Her dad couldn't do it anymore, probably because she gave him fucking COVID. These people were scared as what has I have been through. I was a healthy 45-year-old woman with no underlying conditions whatsoever. And here I am today. I've lost my job. Dude, she's 45? I was way off on the age thing. I thought she was like 56. I can't drive. I'm a prisoner in my own home because I am afraid to go out in the public. Mm. You cannot discriminate. Just like you were saying, Representative Freeman, about going to a Saints game. My family and friends are scared to take this vaccine. If we want to go to a Saints game, why in the world not let us go to a Saints game because we're not vaccinated? It's a private business. They can do whatever they want. Conservatives literally think that you should be able to deny. You should be so libertarian. You should be able to deny being able to get, make a cake for a gay couple because they're gay. Like, fuck that. It's Oops. not fair. It's just not fair. I'm struggling, guys. Y'all just don't know. And it's real. I have a group of over 300 people Being just like me. Is in the Constitution. Sorry, the Fuck, you're right. I forgot about that. And we definitely can't even change that even. That has found me, that has reached out to me. This is real. And it's happening every day. And to the lady back here that was the little scientist earlier, Varys, I reported my injuries because Oshner Hospital would not- The little scientist? Oh, yeah, literally, this is me. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. I know. This really is the world's smallest violin. See? Dude, I highly recommend if you guys never have, if you ever have a chance to, to use uh, studio quality headphones to watch Spongebob. Because the sound design in the background of like the water bubbling and shit, there's so much attention to detail. It's so nice. It's crazy. And you never hear that on regular TVs. Like you do, but it's not the same. Total population control. For what? Do not use this EMF wand. Oh, God. No way. I don't believe it. Jesus Christ. They're giving themselves radiation. Fucking microwaving themselves to get the fucking vaccine out. This is insane, dude. So this is one of her friends. And who is she following? The Good Witcher. John Moses. COVID-1984. Wow. The ones that want you to take the mRNA shots want to connect you to the LO IOB, Internet of Bodies. Part of the fourth industrial revolution. Oh my God. The concept is really going to change. Up until now, the conversation we've been having is around freedom of speech. Once we can access people's thoughts and access people's emotion. The focus, as all of you know, today is on what's now called the Internet of Bodies, involving medical implants and other kinds of devices that go inside your body and all together with the internet as a whole comprise the internet of bodies. The internet of bodies, or IOB, is um, is actually an ecosystem. It's a bunch of devices. This is a ploy for a healthcare slash tech company to make a bunch of money and investments no and then deliver nothing. This is a scam. You are believing a scam because you, it confirms your biases about fucking shit being real. And the internet of bodies is not a real thing. It's not gonna be a thing. It's like the metaverse. <laughs> I, uh, and the emergency use authorization and Big Pharma will pull the clot shot immediately. Dude, it's already ended because they're FDA approved now, you stupid piece of shit. They already ended emergency use uh, because vaccines were approved by the FDA. I just want to know what they say, really. I don't think there's anything interesting in here other than Professor Freedom. <laughs> Anti-vax mom. This woman looks AI generated. I'm so offended that I have to refer to myself as anti-vaxxer. It should be normal people versus the vaccinated zombies. <laughs> At PETA. Comment? I find it disgusting. You vaccinate cats for cat disease. Vaccines cause SIDS? Vaccines cause seizures. Vaccines cause autoimmune... Oh, sudden infant death syndrome. Uh, cause autoimmune disease, vaccines cause, I can't read that, one. ADHD, autism, death, learning disabilities, brain damage. My only son a new skateboard and it's pretty cool if I say so myself. 
I don't understand this joke. Is there, yeah, is her son dead because she's an anti-vaxxer? There's people joking. I don't want to see jokes. What else do we got? People memeing on her. There's another one, I think. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Oh, wait. There's her Facebook page. That's what we're looking at. Wonder what caused this crazy spike in reports of vaccine related deaths. <sighs> it's pretty funny. Tune into the high wire to see my mom. Her mom's on fucking high wire too. Oh god. She looks like a fucking mummy. Just deleted my Duolingo account. It's two and a half hours with some lady's mom. Who is this? Even bigger powers than ever before. We are really acquiring divine powers what creation and destruction we are really upgrading humans into gods we are acquiring for instance the, the power to re-engineer life i know that in recent years we saw populist politicians undermining deliberately the trust that people have in important institutions like God, i get to use gas for elective electric to cook my food dude this shit is so wannabe like you're standing in the corner of a room in front of a tv kind of to, this is a huge story we're about to in for emergency in oil and gas issues in banking issues the whole problem is regulatory capture right it's that the people that are making the decisions coming up with policies and you know are Nuremberg last year take a look at this i came to Nuremberg to provide historical context to the current global threat no way. confronting our civilization. These past two years and a half have been especially stressful as painful memories were rekindled. In 1941, I was three and a half years old. My family was forced from our home in Romania to Ukraine. We were herded into a concentration camp. No. Essentially left to starve. No way. The Holocaust did not begin in the gas chambers of Auschwitz or Treblinka. The Holocaust was preceded by nine years. I, I, I think, uh, yeah, I think we are about to hear what we think we're about to hear. Of incremental restrictions and personal freedom and the suspension of legal rights, civil rights, and essentially human rights. The stage was set by fear-mongering and hate-mongering propaganda. A series of humiliating, discriminatory government edicts demonized Jews as spreaders of disease. No Dude, no fucking way. No fucking way she's doing this. There's just no fucking way she's going to do this right now. The real viral disease that infected Nazi Germany was eugenics. Eugenics is the elitist ideology at the root of all genocides. If we are to avert another Holocaust, we must identify ominous current parallels before is she gonna say it poison the fabric of like she's saying it right but is she gonna actually say it society few people recognize foreboding similarities between current policies and those under the Nazi no. regime. in 1933 the primary target of discrimination were jews today the target is people who refuse to be injected with experimental genetically engineered so-called vaccines. Bro, no fucking way. Moral significance of the She is a Holocaust survivor comparing being an anti-vaxxer to the fucking Holocaust. That's fucking crazy. Nuremberg code cannot Like you should be arrested. Sorry. If you just act like this, you should be literally forced to get the vaccine. He overstated. The Nuremberg Code is the most authoritative, internationally recognized document in the history of medical ethics. In 1961, in his farewell address to the nation, President Dwight D. Eisenhower warned against the increasing domination of the military industrial complex. We must be alert. <laughs> Okay. To the danger 
that yeah america literally has concentration camps where forced sterilization and child separation are actual policies um but yeah you're right the fucking it's where it's bad that we're vaccinating people who want to be vaccinated we're not even forcing anyone to get it the other ethical standards can be modified can be changed at almost at will i can't i can't i can't i can't believe that's her fucking mom too vax queen injured can I hug you? oh my god i love this lady This is hilarious. Bro, come on, like, she's up there going like, must get really fucking tiring. Like that was just tiring for me to do. This is crazy, man. This is like bottom tier, bottom of the barrel, like, these are literally the fucking, my pronouns are they lied, oh fuck yeah. This is literally the bottom feeders of the conservative media machine. So you're not crazy. There, there really are. Some people really do have after effects, okay? I mean, it's, it's so bad. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. Yeah, pull your mask down if you need to. I've been vaccinated. Oh, mask. I thought she said pull your pants down. So it sucks so bad. You know? And she literally at the end was like, I've been vaccinated. I'm good. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So there's that one. And then, yeah, it was a joke. And then that one. No, 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 no. I think that's all I can fucking handle right now. Go 